welcome to project 28 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this hide and show password input by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if i just write like um hello word in here so uh, first of all it will not show up because our input type is set to password and if you click on this i button right here so now here you can see it will show up because we are going to be changing our input type to be text by just using our javascript so this is what we are going to be building in this video so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code first of all we're going to have to write like out28.show hi password then i want to hit enter inside this folder we are going to be creating three files so i'm going to just write index.html and the second file will be style.css and the third file will be app.js okay so now let me zoom in a bit so that we can see everything a bit better all right so now let's just collapse the sidebar and doc type html and i'll just write like show hide password password now let's link that to our css file and also with our javascript file okay so now we are good to go the first thing we would need is to just write our container first of all inside this container we are going to be writing an input with the type of password okay so then you have to give a placeholder of just a password password and then we have to just give a i container which will just containing the i okay so where can we get that i so the first thing we would do is we would just go to our cdn.com and then we would just go okay so here i'm just write like font let me just write font awesome and now it's will do the thing and now then i'm gonna write like font awesome.com and then i'll go to v4 version and then we want to get our icon of i so you're going to be just writing like i head enter so it will now brings us to this page right here so now i'll just copy this text from here this code and i'm going to paste this code right here and the final thing which you have to do is to just this copy this link from there and paste it up above of that link so save it and now let's check okay we're gonna launch our live server so we have to just right click on it and open with a live server so here you can see we have our i right here and everything is working the way we expect him to work okay so this was it about our html so now let's jump right into our css and now let's style it a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll just uh, select everything and you know what on just do it like side by side so that we can see everything a bit better okay so that's gonna be there all right so the first thing i'll do is i'll just remove this margin padding and then box sizing will be border box and font family will be sans serif and you can choose whichever font family you like and body will be just position relative and then min height will be 100 vh okay and then for background i'm going to change the background color to rgb 10 and 10 and finally we have to just write like 165 okay so this one will be our background color so once we save it so here you can see our bluish kind of color right here and then we have to just center everything to perfectly centered so just if i can't be center aligners items everything will be center okay so that's that the next thing which you have to do is let me just make it smaller so that we can see both of the so now let's select our container which is this container so i want to select my container right here inside this container position will be also relative okay and then we have to pour a width of 100 percent to it and max width will be 400 pixel okay and background will be totally white and border radius will be just 5 pixel all around and padding will be 10 pixel all around and display will be flex and justify content will be space between okay and then we have to just provide a little bit of box shadow to it so i'm just provide box shadow of 0 10 pixel and 40 pixel and rgba and the first one will be 0 0 0 and finally we have alpha transparency 0 0.057 and this is our uh shadow I, I don't know if you can see that <laughs> but if you are following along so you can see that by yourself in your project and now let's select our input box and inside this input box we are going to be just first of all removing that outline that background as well and also that border as well okay so we now have to give them a little bit of width to it like 90 percent and padding will be 10 pixel top and bottom 20 pixel 
left and right font size will be 16 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so everything is working the way we expect him to work but now let's select this eye and format that a little bit so now we have to go to our eye container so now let's select our eye container i'm going to pass it right here and now let's tie it a bit so i want to just write like position will be position will be now absolute and width will be 40 pixel and height will be also 40 pixel and then we are going to be just writing a display so that we can center everything so everything will be centered okay so once we center file so here you can see our eye is now right here so the next thing which you have to do is to just change the top value i'm going to write this right here like top value will be 50 percent and the right value will be just like 15 pixel save it and it's looking a bit cool so now let's just write transform to it so like transform and translate the y-axis and then minus 50 percent save it and now it's perfectly centered right here okay so the final thing which you have to do is to select this eye and then change a little bit of uh, font size of it and color as well so what i'll do i'll just write like eye and then icon okay so which is this eye icon right here okay we're gonna provide any cluster do we so now let's add a cluster let me make it bigger class of class of eye icon to it okay so that's that copy this eye icon and now let's jump right into this one we, we already write there so now i want to change this to like font size of 20 pixel color will be 777 and then transition will be 0 0.2 seconds and ease save it and once we hover our mouse over to it so nothing's gonna happen because we don't import any hover effect to it so now our eye icon and once we hover over it so we want to change the color from that to like rgb and the rgb value will be 10 10 and 165 that's that and now let's change the cursor to pointer 7 and now once we hover our mouse over to it so nothing's gonna still happen i don't know why you know what i want to change this class to id so that's that and now let's select that as id so i want to copy that from there and it should be id and this should also be id all right so now if i hold my mouse over to it so here you can see that color is changing to blue and here you can see that transition right here all right so now we are done with the html and css so now let's jump right into our javascript and now let's do our interactivity so the first thing we would need for javascript is to get our input and the second thing we would need is our eye okay so to get our input first of all we are going to be just writing let me zoom in a bit or you know what zoom out will be fine input document dot query query selector and now let's select our input okay input and now let's duplicate and paste it here come on come on all right and it should be an id so we're going to be writing like i icon and now let's change that to i okay so input will be this input right here and that i icon is right here okay so let me just remove these comments from there and this space from there so now we want to attach an add event listener to this i right here so once we click on this i so you want this function to be executed okay so what is inside this function if or input dot type is equal to password okay so you want to check like if this input let me just show you that if this input type is equal to password so then you want to just provide like input dot type will be equal to text okay so then you want to show this uh, text right here otherwise you want to write like input dot type it will be now equals to password okay so once we save our file so once we write something and we, once we click on that so here you can see it will now show us as a text if you clear it one more time so here you can see it will now change it to password all right so that was it about this project and we can also refactor this code by using a ternary operator so i'm going to comment this line of code and now let's refactor that uh refactor refactor input dot type will be equals to password if input dot type is equal to password then we want to check let me just make it bigger then we want to check um input dot type uh, is now equal to text okay if that's not true so then we want to change the input dot type is equal to 
password server file and now if you write something like something and then if you show there here you can see it's now showing our text right here if i click it one more time so it will now hide it for us okay so i guess that was it about today's project and now i wanted to push my code into my github repository so if you guys don't know about getting github so feel free to skip this video or otherwise if you want to watch it so you can watch it okay so now let me just write like get um status and we have the out 20 add so i'm gonna just write like uh get add and everything first of all and then get convert dash m and then show hide password uh project okay so that's that and now let's push it to our github repository all right so everything is pushed up so now let me make my google chrome bigger refresh our browser so o20 add so here you can see we have this show and hide password here is the javascript code and here is the index.html code and finally here where are you is style.css code right here all right so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye